It is beginning to smell a lot like Christmas here. Can you smell that? It's a little bit of baked goods. Here to help us set the tone for our taste buds with some amazing appetite appetizers, Chef Matt, Dean, Pettit, Little Santa. <laughs> Little Santa. Festive. I am very, very festive. festive. We love that. That's so. one of the nicest things anybody's ever called me. Little Santa. Little Santa. I will take that. Thank you very much. That's, That's nice. right. I'm feeling festive here in well, the City Line kitchen. You're always very giving, so mm. it's fitting that you're wearing that Santa cap Thank and you. talking to us a little bit about food. There's something really beautiful about making food to share with others. But if you were going to make some appetizers, because mm -hmm. that's what we're going to make, we are. And people are coming to your house, how do you know how many appetizers to make? <laughs> So if you're is me, there an equation? you know, is there an equation? That's a great question. You yeah. know, how many are we doing for guests coming? So yeah. I always say, you know, if you've got maybe four guests coming, you know, the rule of thumb might be two appetizers per kind of thing, right? Okay. Uh, it, an appetizer, it's meant to be appetizing, sort of start the mood, it's start the party. So it doesn't, you, you know, something like we're about to do that has a little bit of bread in it, it might fill people up quick. Right. So again, you still want to get to the, you know, the main the dish dinner. or the dinner or dessert or drinks. Right. So let's talk, but the rule of thumb for me is always, you know, one to two little bites per person. Okay. Yeah. So and th these are going to be question. more filling bites because what is the first one we're going to be yeah. Uh, talking yeah. about? Yeah, I love that. Look at that little display there. So again, this is festive. <laughs> I love baking spices. So this is the cranberry brie bites. Very Super cute. simple, very easy. You know how I work. We could either highfalutin and make something fancy where we're wearing, you know, uh, a suit and, and dresses and a black tie event. Yeah. Uh, but this is something on a Tuesday that you can make that's approachable. It's simple. It's easy. You're using, you know, crescent dough. Let's make life easy. Let's have a drink. It's the holiday time. Let's do that. Let's right? wear our, maybe our track suits and do this. Well, this How is, about this that? Is, this is why we're right? friends. Let's do right? that. Maybe we'll just get a little wine going here. Do it in the track suits. So step into the kitchen, T. So yes. here we go. Again, you know, I always lay everything out. So if you look, so Crescent Joe, always great to have a tube or two in the holiday time. And again, just, you know, pop it out and away you go. Okay. So look at this little baking pan, man. Well, I don't want to show Please. them this. Like this is, this is this, really the, right? the thing that is making this recipe so cute. They're little Christmas little trees. Little Christmas trees. And it's always fun because this is a fun recipe and I love baking, but yeah. necessarily when you bake, like this looks perfect and you're like, oh my God, this is going to turn out perfect. Yeah. It, don't get stressed if it doesn't go always to exactly it's what okay. this looks like, because eighty percent is good close enough, enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so let's get enough. let's get into it. So again, you've got the oven three seventy five. Yeah. I'm gonna bake these off for about twelve minutes. So this is a very very simple. We're just gonna do a little cooking spray, and again, so you can in that nonstick muffin pan pull it out. Okay. So T, if you don't mind, I have pulled these out, and we're just gonna sort of form them in. Okay, so we're just gonna push it in okay. and form it. And again, this Christmas is the fun tree, part. Christmas tree ish. This is Christmas. That's fun to say. Right? Christmas tree ish. Christmas tree ish. So again, this is something you can get the kids involved, get you know your crazy aunt and uncle involved. You know what I mean? Put people to work here. Whoever um, wants to help out. Whoever wants to help. And by the way, this beautiful little mold dollar store. Right. So it is. very Shout affordable. Out. Grab that, and it's gonna make all your cookies or all your baked goods look really super Make cute. Make life easy. Yeah. Okay. So it is called the cranberry brie bite. Yeah. So we are just going to pop a little bit of brie. You can use any cheese. If you were swapping in your household, Tracy Moore, yeah. and you did not want to use brie, what would you use? Do you want me to tell you my addiction right now? Well, I think everybody wants to hear it. Balderson's truffle cheese. Oh. It is so good. good. I'm putting it on everything I know these it. days. So I, I know would put it. it. If that is your, if you're a truffle person, because truffle's very distinct. I was gonna say I can have, have truffle in anything. If you're not into it, bypass. And your like, your neighbors are smelling truffle right now. For yeah. absolutely. For the next I till, love till, that. till New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also sure. love truffle. I love yeah. that truffle cheese. Yeah. Okay, but brie's good because brie's gonna melt really. It's um, a melty cheese, really soft nicely. cheese, and it's a neutral cheese, and right? It's Neutral. So neutral in the fact that you know it's not political. It doesn't take sides. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, uh, we have enough in Switzerland. We, in Switzerland, it, we, we have enough. We, politics we have. Well, we have enough. I'm sure with holiday parties, there's enough like family <laughs> fun going on between right. aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, everything. So let's yeah. just keep the cheese bites to <laughs> happy times, neutral. right? Let's keep it happy times. So we're topping with a little oh bit of cranberry. Boy. Super fun. Just easy peasy. And this is like right out of the can. Right everybody. out of the can. Exactly. It is tough, right? There's yeah. it, Things are expensive. Let's make 
you know, holiday appetizers, approachable and affordable. Well, what I love about this is you're making it in real time. We only have like a minute and a half totally, left. Totally, that's so all we need. Putting, we're cinnamon. putting a little pinch of uh, some flavor in there, some I love, cinnamon. I You've love got holiday. some brown sugar. Brown sugar. We're doing cayenne with a little cayenne. bit of pop. These are holiday baking spices for me. That's so nice. So tea, a little brown sugar, as you mentioned. Yeah. We're going to hit it with a little bit of pecan if you can as well. Thank you. Are we being, are we like pecan yeah. or are uh, we pecan? You know what? I go pecan, but if we're going to make it fancy, you Pecan. You look fancy right now. You look Let's great. Let's do pecan. Let's do pecan. Very nice. So into the oven. As you do that, I'll pull the other one out. Thank you. So 375, 12 minutes. I'm going to pop this one if so you easy. can. Right? So Very inside nice. there. Thank you. Let's always keep an eye on these. These are absolutely stunning. I want to take a look at this. Look at that melty brie. Can we just That's talk beautiful. about that for a second? How hot is it? Because I want to show it's, Steve. It's not too bad. You know okay. what I mean? Oh, I can do this. You I'm, can do, I'm you've, a got mother. Chef, you've got chef, yeah, mother and chef hands. Yeah, this is Welcome great. to the kitchen life. So you see what we said? They're triangles. They're not exactly a Christmas tree. Who cares? Who cares? It's going to taste delicious right? when you put it in it your is. stomach. You know, we can look at Talk this. about these while you plate those Absolutely. for me. Absolutely. So again, having a, you know, a little crescent roll dish in your house I made uh, kielbasa, oh, smoked kielbasa rolls. So again, wrap it, roll it. I put a little bit of cooked uh, kielbasa. You could always use something like ground meat or ground turkey. Nice. I did a little Dijon butter sort of rub inside Ooh. and out. 12 minutes. You look like a baking, you know, a baking pro. Genius. A genius. Thank and you very really much. And really, it's an elevated pigs and blanket it, is what it is, right? Uh, you know what? We, I love pigs and blanket. And so if we can I. make it fancy, I'm finishing these with a little bit of ro uh, sage. And very look at nice. that. We're all set. They're gorgeous, and the recipes are on cityline.tv. Maddie's going to be back later to shake things up with a few holiday cocktails, which we're very excited about.